Freedom Village. This is V. I'm still backstage at the 930 Club with George Clinton and the P-Funk All-Stars on February 11th. And I'm here with the bass player, the Thumposaurus, Mr. Lodge Curry. Mm. Hello. Hello. How you doing? What's the name of it again? Uh, the Thumposaurus. Thumposaurus? Or, or my show. Your show. My show is Freedom Village. Freedom Village. Freedom I like Village. that. I like that. Is everybody free? Everybody that's in Freedom Village is free. To what level of freedom, though? You can do anything in Freedom Village. Okay. No rules? Uh, just love each other and be kind to each other and share. Those are the only rules. Nice. Freedom sounds like funk. Basically. At least it started out like that. Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about how the funk started. I mean... Can you can you share some insight on that? How the funk started, shoot, man, that's that's a crazy question because don't nobody really know how it started. <laughs> Not really, man. I mean, you trace back to you know George's history, for instance, or Sly Stone. Then it's a generation of people before those guys who they listen to. So you really would have to find out uh, and go back through the decades and, and see who studied who to create what they got. You know what I mean? And far as I was concerned, like, <clears throat> it's something that was always, funk was never something that was started up. It was always here. It was an energy form that was probably just adapted by different beings you know, and as you grow older, you start to realize that it truly is something that if you have it, you have it. And if you don't, you don't. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, not, yeah. it's not something that, you know, everybody is walking around acknowledging mm -hmm. even. But if you can well it up, you know, from your, from your energy or whatever, and if you can understand some of the funk music that's going on, prior to what's happening right now, you know, because a lot of it is hip hop, which I like to call a new funk, you know, with the whole sampling thing, you know. But the DNA is from groups like George and Sly, and you know, that's, that's their thing. So you can just imagine, it just goes back and back and back through the eons of time and stuff, man. I think it was always something that was funky or something that was played Whereas you felt that funk feeling and stuff that we experience now, you know. Um, I think he's speaking of the funk gene, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, George Clinton and them and Sly and all of them discovered the f that they had the funk gene, mm -hmm. and they shared it with people. Is is a feeling that came out of life, life experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, you breathe it, you eat it, you sleep it. It's, 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 yeah, every fiber is all about that. And w when you start expressing yourself, even just without music, it's a part of your lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like I said, you either have it or you don't. And you have to really, really in indulge yourself in it like that. It's a language. It's a culture. Now it's been turned into like a commercial thing where commercial establishments have all joined in and now you hear funk music on television where it's in commercial form or in movie form or whatever so it's taking on a whole nother identity where it's reaching a whole nother audience and the more i guess you know the older it gets the more people are more uh, inquisitive to see what it is and know what it is so you know i mean now you find like every time you look around somebody is on the one you know what I mean, with making it funky. So I'm glad to be a part of it, man. It's, it's something that, like I said, uh, Mr. Clinton's funk, I got to say, is, is not the same as everybody's funk. You know, it's another kind of funk. Sly Stone had his way of doing it. Mr. Clinton has his way of doing it. You know what I mean? And all the rest of them out there that, that followed suit, you know what I mean? Uh, but it was always something to it that I love, and it's different funks all over the country. Like, you go down to New Orleans, the Neville Brothers, 
you can't say that that's not funky. That's funky as you want it to be. But it's just, just a different style. I like to call it Bayou Funk. <laughs> you know, but hey, man, listen, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a part of this, this whole union of funk, funkness. And as we go along in life, you know, I know that the history that's going to be laid down with this is never going to be told all the way because it's just so many chapters and it's going to keep going on and on and on. But I'm, I'm very much proud to be a part of it, you know. I got my start in 1974. And uh, I actually started playing in the band, though, around 79, 80. But me and Mike Hampton, my cousin, we met uh, George Clinton in Cleveland, Ohio. We were playing in a band, and he came to an after party, and he heard us play, like, Maggot Brain and stuff. And they really liked Mike. And next thing I know, they was calling Mike that summer of 74 to go out and be on the road with the Funkadelics, man. So we got a break. We were very lucky as teenagers, you know, to be seen by uh, George and those guys, you know. That was a little bit around the days when they was doing Up For The Downstroke was a, on the radio, stuff like that, so mm -hmm. it's a long time ago. And I know you've traveled all around the world for yeah. the funk since then. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and and you funk on the side, too, when you're not on tour with Mr. Clinton, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, you know, we got a few bands. I'm doing uh, a couple of personal projects, Lodge Curry projects, so be looking out for that stuff. But I'm involved in 420 Funk Mob with Michael Clip Payne. We started that back in 97. I do things, we've done things, I've played behind Kendra Foster and her thing. Uh, like I said, I, I, I have several little things I'm doing. I have a band down in San Diego called the Naked Funk Project that I'm doing, kind of a jazz funk, uh, you know, pop band that I'm doing, you know. So there's a few things that, that we have on the side that we're constantly doing. I have a, a few CDs that I'm, I'm doing right now, a double CD out called uh, Organized Chaos. And uh, I got a lot of the guys on it, like George, Mike Hampton, Andre Fox Williams, uh, you know, just just different funketeers. I think sh that should get mentioned or whatever throughout. Because we, you know, regardless of people know. And then you you come to the show, you can buy it on the merchandise table. Go see Glenn Grau. You know, he's our merch guy who really takes care of all of us and getting this new music out there to people. And uh, or you can go online and buy it. We all have websites. I'm LodgeCurry.com. So it's a good thing to know that I'm loving the cyber community too. <laughs> I love that, man. You know, I, I mean, the kids are so blessed with having that communication to reach out all over the world. You know, I'm, I'm, yeah. I come from the day of analog, you know. Cell phones wasn't around that time, at that time, you know. Right, right. But uh, I'm, I'm really thankful for all of that, to see it. I feel like we're living in the Star Trek age. Bluetooth and all that stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's all great, man. I'm glad to see you doing this too, Vince, man. I'm proud of you, man. We've been knowing you, what, 12 years? Yeah, pretty much. This straight family. You funk family. You straight funk family. Can't nobody... Funk family. Legitimate. All right? When you see him on the street, give him some props. Play. All right, I'm a 30-year man. I know about him. All right, let's keep it together. Keep together, keep together. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Ed Fletcher on drums, y'all, huh? Funky Davey on guitar. Oh, man, we having a ball up here. Let me see if we can try one more here.
y'all down. My name is Chet. I'm with Chet and Sons Lawn Services. As you can see, we do leaves too. We'll cut your grass, we'll trim your hedges, and we will rake your leaves. <laughs> you need lawn services? Make sure you call us at 703-555-CHET. That's 703-555-CHET for your lawn services. <laughs>